Hey folks, Viking here, and welcome back to my Empire Total War American Road to Independence Let's Play series. We are playing as the Americans here, trying to form our new nation. It's been a bit of a rough start, and right now we're actually about to defend the harbor at New York from an invading British force led by Woodrow Bryant. We're going to go down south right here and intercept them at the harbor. And one big advantage that I'm seeing here is we definitely have cannons and they definitely do not. So we'll have to try to make them come at us. Let's go defend the harbor at New York City. It looks like we have a wintertime battle here. Let's go ahead and get our troops set up. I always start by moving all my guys back in a line so I can see what I've got. We have a good mix of forces here. A lot of militia, but plenty of line infantry as well. Let's get some cannons set up. I will move these long range uh, rangers, maybe more towards the middle. Get over there, come on. Alright. Pretty basic setup right here. I won't go too crazy with doing some weird formations because I am worried about being able to actually face their entire line all at once. Because they have almost a full stack army here. So it's pretty much going to be line versus line. I will pull these guys over here and form up on the left. Put our good line of infantry right there next to the cannon. Some Minutemen to fill in the ranks right there. And our Grenadiers right here to form up the right flank. Now we have a nice unit of Grenadiers on each side of our cannons. I like that. These guys excel at accurate fire and melee combat. Although they might as well be wearing gigantic red targets. That's quite the uniform. Here we go. We're gonna have our cannons direct fire. Uh, at the general. Cannon fire is definitely starting to come in here. <laughs> that horse just changed direction mid flight. What are these guys doing over here? Two units of militia. Lots of militia. Wow. They have line infantry somewhere? Two units of Hessian line infantry, but no traditional line infantry. That's odd. Man, that's a lot of militia. They're in trouble here. 
They're gonna have to advance, they have no choice. They can't wait it out with this bombardment. Hmm. They're shifting their lines to my right. I don't like that. Look at this cannon working on these guys up here. While my more experienced cannon over here on the right focuses on getting that general, hopefully. Ah, he's moving back. This is really just an artillery dance at the moment. Back and forth. I wonder if this unit of provincial cavalry could actually catch these guys out in the open. Line up. Let's get ready for it. high ground here. Eat canister shots. Right in the trees. Where's that general hiding? There you are. Walking into waves of fire. Let's move you guys on the right here. Let's ambush their general from the side here. Caught him in the small village. Surprise! We have a very Entire group of militia trying to catch up to save the general, but I think I can hit and run here. Ah, uh, nope. They got guys here already. Thankfully, I have shattered the general's bodyguard, and they are now moving. Uh, I guess that's moving north. It may actually be south. So I'm going to chase them. And there goes their general. Okay. Now I can pull back. There's a lot of very tired troops out there for the British.
need some more troops left. Let's get those guys out of there. I'm going to send my grenadiers in here and have them fire their grenades. Grenades out! Oh snap. Yep, that was devastating for them. Now they're getting cancer shot in the back, followed by... Rifles. The regulars are taking pot shots at my men here. These guys are still chasing my cavalry here in the back. I'm just going to charge him with the horse. Yeah, it's painful. Alright boys. Let's push the advantage here. these guys from the right flank over here. Get you guys in the middle over here. These three regiments come down from the left side, right there. Alright, we have, let's see, three regiments of British troops left. No? No, just two. So, rangers that have not actually seen combat yet. And some militia that are very tired and have seen casualties.
gonna have these guys come up and secure this town. These guys are pretty broken, but they might come back. guys charge up the hill. You can do a slight sprint here. Yeah, that's pretty imposing. Wow, it's like the Valley of Death right here. Looks like some troops have escaped, but not many. Here is our after action report. We only lost 259 men while killing 1,400. Had a few guys rank up, including the cavalry, some militia, some line infantry, all advancing in rank. So the question is, how many of those guys got away? A lot. And I can't... Can't go after them this turn, I don't think. I'm not sure if I have the movement range. Let's try. Okay, I don't. I also can't repair the port yet. Hmm. Still have 6,000 gold coming in next turn. Uh, let's see what else is going on around here. Kind of a mismatched militia army coming in from the west, from the Iroquois territory. What do you require? Let's see. Can I burn that down? This capital over here. Shadowing the uh, he got caught. Your eyes and ears. Up here in the north, we have a few armies still charging around, pillaging a bunch of. Uh, Quebec is actually burning here. It's in rough shape. That's going to be expensive to actually repair and get up and running once again. Ooh, Washington's army is actually pretty injured. Hopefully they can resupply before this British army gets here, although it's mainly, <laughs> strangely, cannons and militia. Yes. It's kind of odd. Ready for action. Can we burn down their port? Stealth oh, is my I already favorite. tried. Let's actually use our navy here. Uh, Admiral John Jones on the USS Viking is going to race down the coast and quickly burn down Yorktown. Uh, Yorktown is full of British ships. Fourth rates, mainly. So, Admiral John Jones is now going to turn tail and flee. And we'll just stick to burning down Lewis. And then running back to New York. That barely hurt Lewis. It's got touch and go raid. I'm not going to try to intercept these guys up here in New York. I'm just going to let them come to me. Can't really recruit. So I will replenish what I can. And see if the British decide to fall back or keep pressing their advantage. And I, I really hope that with Acadia in their hands, the French are going to actually do something useful here. Are we allied? I can't remember. Okay, we are allied. We can trade with the Huron. Huh, that's interesting. 
are they interested in trading? They're more with Great Britain, that's a good sign. <laughs> I would sooner have wolves knowing at my guts. Well, screw you too. We'll offer him some gold next time. I just don't have any to spare this turn. The replenishment is more important. Let's go ahead and end our turn here. There's a big fleet in the south. Ugh. We can now intercept their army once again here at New York. Do a quick save just in case. Let's try an auto resolve. Oh yeah, massive victory for us. Seriously, that's where they retreat, right towards our capital, our Come on. That's annoying. Okay. That did save us some time on the auto resolve. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of Looks like our wedge formation research has finished. And General Garth Bond has gained some traits that should help him in battle, including plus one command and plus one morale. And Paul Revere is now an armchair general, plus one research points for military technologies. And joint stock companies are almost done too. Sweet. I think our first step for this turn is going to be replenish this army here. General Garth Bond. That will cost us 1200. Get him up here to intercept. Scraps of army that are remaining in New York. We lost 20 men. Okay, they're gone. Wow, he gained a plus one morale again, as well as a Plus 10% to recovery chance of battle casualties. Not bad. Sorry, sir. Fort at New York is going to cost us 562 to repair. At the rim. How about up north? Washington's army is still being replenished. Capital at Montreal needs to be repaired. The cost of ugh, twelve thirty. And I'm not gonna bother repairing any of the buildings in the west here with this army just trucking around. What could Giles Nordell's army use? He's got a lot of injured militia, so he needs cannon. And some line infantry, possibly. Yeah, that should definitely help. I think Washington is about, uh, about all set here. He's got mostly line infantry, with some Minutemen thrown in, and just one rather advanced unit of militia. We'll leave him in there. Just to hang out. Sir. So that leaves us with this guy, our new general, Gilpin, who really needs everything. So how about line infantry? Well, first let's see if we can do that trade agreement with uh, the Huron. If I'm saying it right. And I'll give them five turns of military access as well. Well, they're at war with Great Britain. So, let's do this. Trade agreement. Military access for ten turns. Alliance. They want 20 turns. Okay, 
Well, you know what? I think that's acceptable. We don't want to really fight the Huron up north. That's out of our area of interest, for sure. And they're already at war with Great Britain. Why not? Let's see, that actually gave us... 1100 gold per turn for a trade. That's not bad at all. That's definitely worth that initial investment plus letting their troops romp around in our territory. Oh, and the Alliance too. 